What's up guys, Daniel and Duku here once again. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get your affiliate marketing site off the ground with absolutely no money. Now in affiliate marketing, there are really two ways to go about it. You can either spend money or you can spend time. And I do realize that not everyone has money to spend in the beginning. So I'm gonna show you a couple really effective methods that I personally use up until now that I've used in the past to get traction on brand new affiliate marketing sites when there's no money to spend on marketing, uh, advertising, social media uh, management, paying for VAs or freelancers, whatever the case may be. You're doing everything on your own from scratch, but you can still get some amazing results in a short amount of time. Just got to dedicate the time, energy, and attention. Now, if you don't know the first thing about affiliate marketing, I highly recommend you check out my video, Affiliate Marketing for a Beginner. I'll link it up above and down below. And if you're interested in affiliate marketing, online business, make money online, I recommend you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and Let's dive in. Now the first, very, very first methodology or strategy or tactic that I recommend you use and the one that will have the largest long-term impact is SEO and specifically building links through guest posting and outreaching. Now, in both instances, great content isn't optional, it's a requirement, especially with outreach. So outreach is basically you reach out to other websites and you solve their problem of finding amazing resources to link to. But before you do that, you have to have an amazing resource on your own website. Now those can be ultimate guides, et cetera, et cetera. But the challenge with outreach is that it doesn't work for your core affiliate marketing money post. What you want to do is you want to create an informational article and then you want to link back from the informational article to your money article. So once that informational article starts ranking well, it gets a bunch of links through your outreach, by default or by extension, the post that you link to on your website will also rise in the SERPs. So it's a really great way to do this if you don't have a lot of budget to pay for links or if you don't have the time or bandwidth to create a ton of content for guest posts. But I have to warn you that outreach is a volume game. You might send like 100 emails and get five successful link placements if your content is good and if you know what you're doing. So I highly recommend that you take the time to research it and to craft personalized pitches to all of the people that you're sending emails to. That alone will increase the likelihood of you getting a successful link placement. And if you can, offer them something in return. It's kind of difficult or kind of annoying when people just reach out and like, hey, hey, what's up, love your content, can you link back to my post? No, I can't. But if you offer me something like, hey, I love your content, uh, we just wrote a great piece, if you link back to it, we'll share you across social media, you can use this tool we created, or I can do this for you, X, Y, and Z. The point is trying to align the value you're bringing to the table with what they actually want. And another way to go about it is guest posting. There are tons of websites in every single niche that accept guest posts. Some are free, some are paid. The added benefit of the guest post is that you can link to yourself multiple times. And if you have partners that you're building links with, you can link to your partners. Now, I covered how to find guest posts and all that good stuff in another video, which you can find up above and down below. But the main point is that guest posting works and you should always aim high. But if you're brand new and you don't have a track record in the niche, then a lot of guest post websites may not take you up on the opportunity. So what you want to do is first and foremost, you want to build clout on smaller websites, you know, refine your writing voice and then work your way up. Or you can go straight to the top, though you'll have a smaller chance of being accepted because there's nothing to point to that says, hey, I've been published in X, Y, and Z publication. So keep that in mind. Now, guest posting, that's kind of like my go-to these days. I love guest posting. I really dislike outreach because it's basically you coming with uh, a bowl and looking for a handout. And that's why I said that you need to add value to the conversation by offering something in exchange. Then it doesn't have to be money. Now, over time, all these links, all this guest posting, it'll one, give you referral traffic and two, it'll help you rise in the search engines. Now, the next strategy is what I like to call the super commenting strategy. Now, this is where you write something about a specific topic and then you go out to the interwebs and you comment on relevant posts. And when you're feeling about your name and your website, inside that website space, you're going to add a link back to your affiliate article. Now, the key with this strategy is that you need to leave a relevant and insightful comment 
on these posts otherwise the webmaster will likely delete them or they won't publish them on their post if it goes through a moderation queue let me just show you an example of how this works let me jump on over to the computer so let's say i had an affiliate article related to the best dog food for large dog breeds right I wouldn't comment on other affiliate articles like that because one, they probably wouldn't approve it. And two, the people on that article aren't looking for another article with the same thing. So what I would do is that I would probably search for something best large dog breed, some a general search. And I'll see what comes up in the search results. And then I'd click on a couple of these results and leave insightful comments. Basically everything on the first page, I would leave insightful comments. And then I would go back and then each one of these large dog breeds, I would search them individually in Google and see what is up there and see if those pages have commenting enabled. Then I would comment insightfully there. And as I said, you leave your name and your affiliate post URL there. So since these pages are already on the first page of Google, you know they're getting traffic and a percentage of those people will scroll down to the comments, see what people have to say and click on your link to investigate you further if there's an option for that. And then some of those people will end up paying from your post on the best dog foods. And they may even become an email subscriber or follower, you never know. Now this, I'll admit, this does take a considerable amount of time and effort to really get the ball rolling and get the ball trickling in. But from using commenting both on different websites and in forums, you can get up to $500 to $1,000 a month, which you can then reinvest into either hiring somebody to do it for you or into guest posting and link building at a larger or higher scale. Again. It's your money. You can do whatever you want with it, but those are just some suggestions. I do not believe this for a second. Now, another strategy and what a lot of people like to try but really don't get those results they're looking for is social media marketing. And the reason why they don't get the results they're looking for is because they'll go into like a group or whatever social media platform they're looking for and they just start spamming their link, spamming their link. Look, nobody really cares about your link. They care about you or they don't care about you. So when you go into social media marketing, it's important to choose a platform. If you have the bandwidth for it, then you can choose two platforms. Don't choose more than two platforms when it's only you. Social media is a full-time job if you want to do it properly, right? So let me give you an example with Facebook groups. Most Facebook groups have rules. And if you violate those rules, the moderator will remove your post and probably remove you from the group eventually or ban you from the group eventually, right? And the rules are generally very simple. No spam, no overly self-promotional posts etc add value to everybody comment regularly etc etc you know basically don't be a dick be nice right so in order to be able to share your content your affiliate links in these platforms you have to build clout in these groups and i'm talking about facebook groups specifically here you need to build clout in these groups and you do that by being active, being helpful. If someone asks a question and your affiliate post is a good resource, you share the resource. But don't make dedicated posts about your affiliate marketing post because nobody likes that. They consider it spam for the most part. And it's important to join the right groups. Yes, they're niche relevant groups, but you want to make sure that they're groups that have an active community, that people are actually posting really posting about problems or issues they may encounter within that niche. So for example, you don't want to join a group about pet bloggers and hope to share your affiliate links. Everyone else is sharing their affiliate links or their affiliate posts rather, and no one is getting traffic. What you want to do is you want to join a group for large dog owners. And then once you jump in there, they're going to be asking questions. How do I get my large dog to stop doing this? What's the best food for my large dog, et cetera, et cetera. And at that point, you can share the resources that you've created on your website. And as a result, you'll probably earn a couple dollars from it. Well, not probably you will own a couple dollars because you're answering their query. You're helping them achieve a goal that they have. Right. And so like for Pinterest, let's say Pinterest, Pinterest is a search engine. And so you need to optimize your pins for the Pinterest search. It's not really a social media platform in the sense of like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Yes, it is considered a social media platform, but it works differently. Just like YouTube is a search engine more than anything else. So it's. Pinterest, a search engine more than anything else, 
right? So those are really just three down and dirty strategies to start earning income even if you have zero money for affiliate marketing. Now the thing is that it does take a considerable amount of time. I won't lie to you and say it doesn't. When you don't have the money, you have to have the time. You need either or you can't be lacking both in hopes to succeed and that's the simple truth so put in this hard work figure out the platforms or the channels that you're going to use to grow your affiliate brand from scratch once you get a little bit more money you can start dabbling in other promotional strategies maybe using bridge pages and ads and lead generation devices or experimenting with different types of formats and things of that nature but until that point Follow the playbook. It has been written for you. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. And you can find all of this content, all, all the things that I've told you. You can get more in-depth training here on YouTube. Or if you just search Google, all these blog posts, they have written about it. And they can show you how to do it in a step-by-step -step manner. No need to pay for anything at this point. So that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.